Here's a forager's favourite, it's the slow. So most of you know this as uh, what goes in a slow gin. So there are these berries here. So the blackberries on what looks like a kind of plum-like tree, and that's for good reason, this is in the um, plum family. So slow is very distinctive. We've got this distinctive leaf here. Then we've got the thorns going up, hence the other name, blackthorn. And of course, the slow berries themselves. So the colour can vary. We can see that that's got a sort of bluish tinge to it. Often that's just a bit of a sheen that can be sort of wiped off. As the, uh, as the frost hits them, they can slightly change colour as well. But normally you get this sort of black or blue-black sort of colour to them. So they're better after a frost. And in order to uh, simulate a frost, the best thing to do is to put them in the freezer twice and that simulates two frosts. The other way of doing it is you have to prick them with a fork before you put them in the gin. So the uh, slow gin recipe couldn't be easier. You put slows into a bottle, top with sugar, then you do another layer, then you top with sugar, another layer, top with sugar, and then you pour gin over the top of them. Put a lid on, give it a shake, put it in the cupboard, shake it every two to three days, possibly even less, or just when you remember, go past the cupboard and shake it, and then leave that for about three months. I very recently heard a recipe that it, once you've made the slow gin, you can kind of squash down the, the slows and then mix them with chocolate, mix them with melted chocolate and have a kind of slow gin chocolate. It kind of sounds delicious and I might try that. You can also make a jam out of the spent slows or indeed the fresh slows. I find it's best to mix them with something else because they do have a certain astringency. Now as a forager you get used to certain flavours. So over the years I've got quite used to eating these raw and Neolithic man would have eaten them raw. So they're worth a little nibble they will take all the moisture out your mouth. But there's the slow, real October favourite, great for slow gym and nice for jams and things. Not so nice raw unless you get used to it.